In February 2021, Texas faced an unprecedented winter storm that brought the state's power grid to its knees. Known for its hot summers and mild winters, Texas was caught off guard by the extreme cold, leading to widespread power outages and a significant humanitarian crisis. The storm began on a seemingly ordinary Wednesday with isolated freezing rain that quickly spread across Texas. The first sign of trouble was a Delta Airlines flight that slid off the runway at Pittsburgh International Airport. Tower, you have an aircraft off 31 on the North Vehicle Service Road. Please advise Crash Rescue. Luvani Airport is closed at this time. Thankfully, no one was injured, but it was a warning of the chaos to come. Later that day, Fort Worth witnessed a massive car pileup involving 133 vehicles, many of which were driven by healthcare workers on their way to or from work. The accident resulted in multiple fatalities and injuries, overwhelming local emergency services. The severity of the cold and the suddenness of the storm created a chaotic and dangerous situation on the roads, highlighting the unpreparedness of the state for such extreme weather. Imagine the scene, drivers caught in blinding snow, trying to navigate icy roads, and suddenly finding themselves in a pile of wrecked cars. Emergency responders rushed to the scene, but the sheer number of vehicles and injured people made their job incredibly challenging. It was a stark reminder of how quickly a routine day could turn into a disaster when nature strikes. As temperatures continued to drop, 22 gas power plants in Texas were forced to shut down. This exposed a significant flaw in the state's energy management system, which was not designed to handle such extreme cold. The demand for electricity surged as people tried to stay warm, leading to rolling blackouts that affected over 3.6 million residents. This morning when I called, they told me 10 a.m., but uh, I called back after 10 a.m., and they said that they were just working on it, so uh, I don't, there was no update. The infrastructure, including gas production facilities and pipelines, struggled to operate in the freezing conditions. This led to a dramatic increase in energy prices and disruptions in various industries. Many businesses were forced to close and critical services were disrupted. The failure of the power grid turned a weather emergency into a full-blown crisis, with far-reaching economic and social consequences. Think about it, families huddled together in their homes, bundled up in blankets, trying to stay warm without power. Many were left without heat, light, or a way to cook food. The sudden loss of power also meant that hospitals and other critical facilities had to scramble to maintain operations, using backup generators that weren't designed to run for extended periods. The Texas Power Grid, managed by the Electric Reliability Council of Texas, ERCOT, operates largely independently from the rest of the country. This autonomy limited Texas's ability to import power from other states during the crisis. The decision to keep the grid independent was partly to avoid federal regulation, but it left Texas vulnerable when its internal systems failed. This independence, once a point of pride, became a significant liability during the storm. The storm's impact was devastating for many families. Several people died from carbon monoxide poisoning as they used cars and generators indoors to keep warm. One heartbreaking case was that of 11-year-old Christian Pavon, who died from hypothermia. He had been excited to see snow for the first time, but his family's mobile home couldn't protect him from the severe cold. The lack of adequate heating and insulation in many homes exacerbated the situation. Emergency responders were overwhelmed by the scale of the disaster. Firefighters struggled to manage fires due to burst water pipes and frozen hydrants. One notable incident was a fire at a Hilton Garden Inn, where disabled sprinkler systems allowed the flames to spread rapidly. The hotel was full of locals seeking refuge from the cold, highlighting the widespread desperation and the challenges faced by emergency services. First responders, already stretched thin by the pandemic, faced additional pressures due to the storm. The Fort Worth car pileup saw healthcare workers involved in the crash, with some off-duty personnel jumping into action despite being injured themselves. The sheer number of incidents and the severe weather conditions made coordinated responses difficult, leading to delays and, in some cases, inadequate responses to emergencies. Picture the firefighters trying to battle blazes without enough water because of frozen hydrants or paramedics navigating icy roads to reach those in need. The storm turned their already challenging jobs into nearly impossible tasks, yet many went above and beyond to help as many people as they could. The storm caused extensive damage to Texas's infrastructure. Many methane gas processing plants lost power because they were not considered essential services, making it difficult to supply gas to power stations. 
As temperatures dropped, water mains and pipes burst, leading to severe flooding and water shortages. The cascading failures of the energy and water infrastructure highlighted the interconnected nature of these systems and the compounding effects of such a widespread disaster. Residents were left without access to clean water. Many had to melt snow for drinking water, while others resorted to filling buckets from broken pipes. The power outages also disrupted water treatment plants, making the water supply unsafe. Social media was filled with images of people struggling to find water and stay warm, showcasing the widespread desperation and resourcefulness of the affected communities. The lack of preparation extended beyond the power grid. Many buildings and homes in Texas are not insulated for extreme cold, which led to significant damage from frozen and burst pipes. Insurance claims for property damage skyrocketed, adding financial stress to the already burdened residents. The economic impact of the storm was felt not only through direct damage, but also through lost wages and the cost of emergency repairs. Imagine waking up to find your home flooded because a pipe burst overnight, or discovering that you have no water at all because the main lines are frozen. People were forced to come up with creative solutions just to get through the day, whether it was melting snow for water or using plastic bags to collect water from dripping pipes. In response to the crisis, Texas lawmakers passed Senate Bill 3, which required the weatherization of energy infrastructure to withstand extreme weather. ERCOT, the organization responsible for managing the state's electricity, improved its emergency response procedures and communication with the public. These changes aimed to ensure that the power grid could handle future extreme weather events and that residents would be better informed and prepared. The Public Utility Commission of Texas also introduced stricter regulations to ensure energy companies comply with new standards. Public awareness campaigns were launched to educate residents on how to prepare for future emergencies, including home insulation and the dangers of carbon monoxide poisoning. These efforts aim to create a more resilient infrastructure and a more informed public, reducing the risk of a similar disaster occurring again. The legislative response included measures to increase the accountability of energy providers and improve the oversight of critical infrastructure. However, critics argue that more needs to be done to address the systemic issues that contributed to the crisis. There are calls for greater investment in renewable energy sources and better integration with the national grid to provide additional support during emergencies. Think about the long-term changes that need to be made, better insulation for homes, more robust energy systems that can handle extreme weather, and improved emergency response plans. It's not just about fixing what's broken, but also about building a system that can withstand future challenges. The February 2021 winter storm exposed significant vulnerabilities in Texas's energy infrastructure and emergency preparedness. While legislative and infrastructural changes have been made, there are still questions about whether these measures will be enough to handle future extreme weather events. The Great Texas Power Grid Collapse serves as a crucial lesson in the importance of preparedness and resilience in the face of natural disasters. As we move forward, it is essential to continue improving our infrastructure and emergency response plans. Only by learning from past mistakes can we hope to better protect ourselves from the challenges that lie ahead. The storm highlighted the need for a more robust and flexible energy system, better emergency planning, and greater public awareness of the risks posed by extreme weather. Texas must build on the lessons learned to ensure that it is better prepared for future challenges, protecting both its residents and its economy from the devastating impacts of such crises. We must also recognize the human element in these disasters. The bravery of first responders, the resilience of everyday Texans, and the efforts of lawmakers and engineers to prevent future crises all play a crucial role in building a safer, more resilient state. The Great Texas Power Grid Collapse was a wake-up call, and it's up to all of us to ensure that we are ready for whatever comes next. If you found this video informative, please like, comment, and subscribe for more content. Stay prepared and stay safe.